What's up, cooks? It's Wednesday. So I was on Amazon and I saw something called a dough maker. So it kind of looks like a bread machine without the cooker in it. So how you use a bread machine on the dough setting, this is what it seems like this is. But you know, I had to get this one because I wanted to see uh, what's up with this thing. So this is from Bore Bear Bear. It's a dough maker. And um, let's take a look at this and we'll see if this thing can actually make some dough. So join me, it's Wednesday and um, Let's see what this is. So I don't know exactly what I got myself into. This thing says it's seven liter. Um, it says it has a DC motor, which is interesting. Um, I don't know. I don't know if this can make like really heavy, like Western style bread, or is it just made for dumpling dough? I don't know. It says it can make bread dough. So I don't know. It looks like the brand is bare. It comes in two sizes. This is the bigger of the two. So it says it's Panda brand. Huh, interesting. So here is our dough maker. And um, it's white, blue, and silver. Uh, dough container, DC motor, disc under the base. I don't know what that means. I think that's um, suction cups. I'm really intrigued about this because I think bread machines do a great job making bread. And um, if we can get something that's basically just the dough end of a bread machine, that would be pretty cool. So we have an instruction manual that says, uh, Gives you all the parts and stuff. Hmm. Some recipes. A thousand grams of flour. Oh, this is for steam buns. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Like, could you really put really big? Whoa. This is the paddle. This is like way bigger than a bread machine paddle. Huh, I'm really intrigued now. It intrigued me on the picture. It's really intriguing me now. When I see that dough hook. This is it. What do you guys think of this? This is kind of funky looking. <laughs> I, you know I couldn't pass this up when I saw this. So we have a lid here that opens like that. So here's the lid. Um, comes with a measuring cup and spoon. This kind of looks like what you would get for a rice cooker. And here is the bowl. What's interesting is the base of it with the teeth are metal, as well as here they're metal. Hmm. A mix cycle. A ferment cycle. I don't know if this does these things automatically. I think you have to do those manually. 
Um, here's our bowl, dough hook. Wow. Dough hook. <laughs> Lynn. Mix. Start. It acts like a bread machine. My bread man ultimate does that. Where it starts and stops. Did your bread man do um, seven liters? No. How much will it actually do though? <laughs> this is kind of interesting, folks. What is this here? Oh, you can add stuff here. This is kind of funky, guys. I'm liking this already. Um, I don't know really what kind of dough I can make in this thing. But we're going to try it. We're going to... Your return period, right? <laughs> yeah. We're gonna put like, we could do like my bread machine, um, dinner rolls in here. Up the quantity. Do a two batch load to see how this is. I don't think this like program, so. How do you cancel? I don't think it programs. Like you don't put it in there for amount of time. I think. When you hit mix, you can change the amount of time, but I don't sure if it, oh, you can change the ferment time too. Hmm, this is gonna be interesting. I'm very intrigued by this little machine. So you have a little learning curve. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're gonna play with this and see what this thing can do. This sort of, uh, came up on me and I was kind of surprised when I saw it and now I'm really, 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 really uh, intrigued, right? If you're gonna let your dough rise, at least it's in a lid, right? Yeah. So what else, what else did Amy get this week? I got some new silverware because I need it. When I do my tablescapes and we set up for holidays and stuff, it always seems like I just, I'm like rummaging around trying to find some silverware. And I don't want to use the stuff that I use on an everyday basis. That stuff kind of gets, it's Reed and Barton and it lasts a long time, but it also gets a little scratched up because we probably don't care for it like we really should. <laughs> you know, it's like in and out of the dishwasher every day on top of each other, scraping and everything. I just wanted a set that I could, you know, keep nice for my tablescapes. And I really want to get this out of the box because I want to see it. I mean, I mean I'm ordering stuff cuz I don't I'm not going in and shopping, so I'm ordering stuff just how it looks, you know, online and I'm really kind of particular about my silverware. Um I like the continental size, I like a certain weight, and this is Lennox. So I'm thinking it's probably gonna be pretty good, right? Well, I think you're gonna leave it on, right? No. So each one of these is a service for four. So this is service for eight. Ooh, these are really taped up here all over the place. Mm. Well, you remember what happened to the steak knives we had mailed to your brother, right? Yeah, they popped out. Yeah, well, they didn't want these to pop out. Mm. Oh, 
Okay, so these are Linux uh, 29 piece flatware set, 1810. Um, I think the pattern is like arrow something. Arrow Ridge is the pattern. Arrow Ridge. Let's see how these look. I'm sure they're beautiful because they're Linux. Where's the forks? The very first thing I go for is the forks. Definitely packed well. So let's see what we have here. Ooh, these are nice. They're, oh my gosh, they're beautiful. So they have a little like crisscross here. And this is how the end looks. It sort of comes to a tip. And these are really nice. So these are Linux Arrow Ridge. I like the feel of it. They're, they're not quite as weighty as my Reed and Barton, but they have that size to them that I like. Um, so I'm quite surprised. This is a pretty big set. So you get your, I got eight knives, eight regular spoons. This is eight teaspoons. Eight soup spoons. We got our regular fork. We got a salad fork. And we have a spork, which is basically like a spoon and a fork put together. There's eight of those. And then there's a set of serving forks for like salad or whatever. So I really, really like this set. So this is how the pattern looks. It's got that nice little twisty thing look to it. I love these. Um, not quite as heavy as my Reed and Barton, but these are really nice. These are really, really nice. Um, yeah, so I'm happy with these. So what's up, Cooks? It's Wednesday. I hope you're having a great week. So we have this new little dough machine in the kitchen. We're going to try it out next. So stay tuned for our next upload because I'm really like excited about this little machine and I'm interested to see what it can do. Don't think it's quite like uh, the Faye Mag, Eric, but um, I think it's pretty cool. Uh, I have my own. Uh... Look what Amy, uh, by proxy, gee, I went in the store and I just saw this. So I figure Boo would want me to have these. Yeah, I'm happy so, Valentine's so Day. So we have Boo. Valentine's Day coming up pretty soon. So you might want to think about your loved ones and all the good stuff, right? So um, <laughs> and I know Amy was thinking about me, right? Yeah. I sure was. <laughs> so yeehaw. So yeah. Silly. So cooks, I hope you're having a great week. I really appreciate you joining me on this little unboxing. Um, I think we have a little treat coming up to play with this dough maker. So thanks for joining me. I really appreciate it. I hope you're having a fantastic week. Um, hang in there because this is a rough week for us. So um, yeah. So if you like this video, please subscribe below. Hit that uh, bell so you get notified of our uploads. And give me a comment and a like and tell me what you think about this new little dough machine. Um, also, all my recipes are out on my website, amylearnstocook.com, and come in and join our Facebook group, and tell me if you've ever used one of these dough machines, and um, what do you think about it? Facebook.com slash group slash amylearnstocook. You can catch me on Pinterest and Twitter at amylearnstocook, and on Instagram, I'm at cooking with Amy. Happy Wednesday, and stay tuned because we're going to make some dough in this little dough maker.